very much. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you very much indeed. And welcome again to the Pyramid Game. And what larks in store over the next 30 minutes as our contestants play for points and then hope to match minds to make money. And all played in a true sporting spirit. And you'll see why when I reveal our first celebrity partner, the very epitome of English women's cricket. Please welcome Rachel Hayho Flint. <laughs> Doing a lot of commentating these days, I know, as well, the Rachel. I mean, how, how does the, the women's game, the ladies' game, compare? How well are we doing worldwide compared with the, the gentlemen's team? I think the people from Neighbours would say that Australia are far better than the English, and it's the same with the, the women... That's a Welsh accent, actually. <laughs> um, it's the same with the women's game as well. Australia beat us in the recent World Cup. Oh, so. did they? We're, we're pretty good in second place at the moment. Oh, well, that's right. I, one thing I must ask you, I mean, it, when you're bowling over arm, does anything ever sort of get in the way? Oh, speak for yourself, Ducky. No. <laughs> 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 we don't quite go to the, the uh, lengths that, the, apparently, the Amazonian women's, in order to fire oh, their yes. bows and arrows, yes, they, yes, I remember you that. know, they had to sort of remove, um, you know, part of their... But, no, we can manage quite well, thank Great, you. Great, well, it's nice to see you here, Rachel. <laughs> welcome to the show. And, uh, partnering Rachel, we welcome Kevin Wetherill, who comes from uh, Bristol. Welcome to you, Kevin. Hi. You married man? I am indeed, yes. Good. And what do you do for a living? I, I try and sell wine. A wine yes, sale? Wine and rare wine, yes. Does, does this mean you have to know a lot about uh, wine itself? Uh, it's certainly you know, a certain amount of wine, because obviously people you're dealing with are quite knowledgeable themselves, so it helps to know uh, what, what about what you're selling. Sure. When you go to these tastings, you have to spit it all out too, don't Definitely, you? yes. You're usually <laughs> driving afterwards. Uh, I guess it has to be quite a good aim, otherwise you tend to hit someone's trousers. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to have you with us. All the best. It's Kevin and Rachel. <laughs> Well, I said a sporting spirit, and now we're going to welcome to the, uh, the show a gentleman I've met a couple of times before. What a nice guy he is, too. The golden boy of Britain's Olympic gold medal winning men's hockey team, Sean Curley. Thank you. Thank you. Did an awful lot for men's hockey, of course, that uh, winning soul, didn't it? You know, and a lot of uh, guys who maybe thought it was a women's game beforehand saw how tough it was out there. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's made a lot of difference to, to hockey now with the profile that, that the hockey players get and uh, sure. all the kids want to play now, which is the thing that I like. Now, when I say tough, too, you naughty boy, you got sent off earlier this season, didn't you? Trust you to bring that one up. <laughs> well, what was it for? No, nothing, nothing too offensive. Something to it? do with... Uh, Words. Oh, was it? Yes. Just like this program. Just the, yeah, but the sort of word you don't use here. That's but right. nice to have you with us, Sean. And coming back for the the last time uh, to the program because she did awfully well yesterday. We welcome Jackie Simmons. Now, Jackie, nice to see you again. How is it? Three hundred and fifty pounds you've got. I think so. Yes, it's gone. Three hundred. Gone to my head. Yeah, plus the pyramid ionizer, which is our special prize. And uh, we, we know already that you're a teacher of elocution. I mean, is it still all Hainai Brankai these days or not? <laughs> not at all. I come from Wigan originally, so there's no way that it could be. Uh, uh, and calligraphy you're into. Tell, tell me about calligraphy. What is, that's writing very beautiful, isn't it? The art of writing it? nicely, yes. Nice fancy flourishes and round hand and script and everything. All right. Well, it's good to see you back on the show today. We have Jackie and Sean. <laughs> Okay, let's whip through the noises for you now, the naughty noises. We have this for a correct answer. And for a breach of the regulations. And for the lucky seven. And when we see that, of course, there is a special pyramid prize. Now then, let's see a few fantastic phrases up there in this first game of the show. Lucky for some. What it seems. Half a mo. Hijack. Lock up. And mellow yellow. Well, we're going to start with you then, Rachel. It's your choice. What would you like? Let's start with lucky for some. Lucky for some. Let's see if it is. We have words associated with luck. Your example is, I suppose, a fairly obvious one, a horseshoe. Okay? Mm. We've got, yeah, well, you've got seven more of those coming up in 30 seconds, which start now. One, two, three, three four, five, six. Numbers. Lumber. Lucky, lucky numbers. Um, put your hand into the lucky brand bit. tub. Uh, did the Irish, they have the luck lucky... Luck of the Irish. Leprechaun. The, the flower. The flower. Over... Uh, sim similar word. Oh, oh. Uh, Pam. Past. Uh, meow, meow. Cats. Black cat. Uh, the, uh, the man who cleaned your chimbleys. Uh, chimney sweep. Uh, um, snooker cue and you <laughs> in the ball. Black pocket. Uh, <laughs> black pocket. Oh, Steve Davies. Anything. No, it was pot we were looking for, actually. And at the end of that round, you've got yourself four points. Yes, we play for points first of all, of course, and then the qualifying team plays for pounds a bit later. Sean, what do you Jackie's choose? namesake, I think. Hijack. Yeah. Hijack, right, okay. In hijack, we have words associated with sailor. 
Uh, right, right, sail off. Your example is mast, M-A-S-T, mast. We have seven more with 30 seconds on the clock starting now. Back of a boat. Oh, the um, uh, bow. Uh, the... Back. Oh, Angry. Um, stern. Uh, thing you look at in a boat, round. Uh, porthole. Uh, the bottom of a boat. The, um, oh. Over. You, something over. It's cook. No. Uh, pass. Gone. Um, sailor. Hello, sailor. Um, uh, of the fleet. Head of the fleet. Uh, Admiral. Yeah. Um, thing you put on your head. <laughs> um, on a road. Stuff on the road. Tar. Do, do we, oh, the gong had gone. If I just, Sean Kelly, we now know, puts tar on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I suppose it beats... No, no, I can't tell you. Anyway, at the end of that round, they've got four points too. <laughs> so, it's all even Stevens at the early stages of this particular pyramid game. We've got four more left up there, and we've turned it round to Kevin. He's going to choose one for us. Uh, may I try lock-up, please? You may indeed, absolutely. My pleasure to bring you this one, and it's words associated with keys. Uh, that does K-E-Y-S as opposed to quays, right, which might have been in the last category, of course. Uh, your example here is safe. Okay, we've got, mm -hmm. again, 30 seconds on the clock. It will start now. When you start a car... Uh, you put key, it in, car key. You put it in the... In the lock. No, you start it, you, like, you light a fire, you... Uh, Ignite. Uh, a bit longer. Ignition. Yes. Uh, someone holds something in it, it's valuable. Business and take it to work in London. Uh, satchel, case, uh, briefcase. Yes. Uh, you put it on a door with a, with a key in it. Knocker. And a, a chain. Alarm. No, and it's a, a burglar big, lock. No, it's lock. a big... It's Safe. Pa pass. Uh, it's a key to open all doors. Uh, pump, mama, master key. No, no, it's uh, all bones. All bones. Skeleton key. Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I tell you, yes, we a lot of actions going on there too, which of course you are allowed in the, in the first part of the game. And that takes them on to seven points. And really, it matters not whether the scores are reasonably low or reasonably high. Of course, it matters who is the eventual winner. And uh, we've turned it round to Jackie now. She knows all about this. What are you choosing? I won't sing it, but we'll have Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. Oh, oh well, what can I say? Oh, Yesterday, you got yourself the Pyramid oh. Ionizer. If you get all seven correct in this category now, of course, within the 30 seconds, then there's another special Pyramid Prize. Words that are associated with yellow. And your example is lemon. Okay. 30 seconds start now. A bird. Um, humming. Yellow bird. A uh, parrot. No, small, like a oh. budgie. A canary. Um, you hit with this, hit nails in. Hammer. Um, it um, flows along bigger than a stream. River. Um, goes underwater, the Beatles sang a song about Submarine. it. Submarine. Um, when you're hot and you're Beaver. ill, um, you uh, do the cleaning around the house, you spray Mop. on the polish and then you... Uh, mop, uh, um, yeah, got Yellow. it. A duster. That's right. And it's a flower at Easter. Uh, oh, so close, so close. Yes, a big yellow duster polishing a bright blue sky. And it was the daffodil we were after, of course, wandering lonely as a cloud. Eh? <laughs> You've got ten points at the end of that, though. Ten points, but no special pyramid prize. Let's see. Now then, you've decided that you're going to describe again, have you, Rachel? It's oh, I was so classic the last time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right, what it seems, or half a mo, then? Half a mo. In this category, words beginning with M-O, right? Those letters. Your mm. example is monarch, all right? Seven more. 30 seconds start now. Just a... Moment. Lives underground, makes a heap. Mole. I'm terribly shy and... M Mawkish. Um, uh, mm, pass. One eye. Monocle. Oh, bit of a street accident. Woof, woof. Monster. One, no, no, type of dog, two mixtures. Mongrel. Yeah, correct. A load, what a load of big crowd. A little word, big crowd. Mob. Correct. Um, big horns. Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing off, it was moose, but that's taken them on to 12 points. Oh, dear. Jackie sees fit to describe in this final game what it seems is what we have, and it's words associated with fashion. And your example is dress. You need three or more to win. Okay. Your example is dress, as I say. 30 seconds, starting now. The material that a dress is made out of. Fabric. Um, the models walk along this when they're Catwalk. modeling the clothes. It's a place where you associate with fashion has the Eiffel Tower. Uh, Paris. Um, in a skirt that's got folds in it, they're called... Cleats. Um, it's 
a tape that you use. I measure. Um, and you, a book, glossy book, glossy comic. Magazine. And you put them in to hold Stitches. the material together. No, little things, smaller than needles. Um, staples. Smaller um, than needles. Uh, pins. Well, nevertheless, she's got to do it for a third time because Jackie and Sean are the winners. Kevin, oh dear, yes, commiserations, we're sorry to lose so you. Thanks for being with us. You've Pleasure. got the special pyramid trophy oh, and all our much. best wishes, of course. And I hope you've got a bottle of wine round the back. Rachel, yes. of course, we're going to see you again in part two. But right now, Jackie and Sean are going to play for pounds. Third and final time. I know you've become part of the family here. Oh, no, we're in the family way, of course, come to think of it. Uh, Sean, the first time Can for I have you. A job? Yeah, but you're going to do awfully well, I'm quite sure. We'll have a go. Already you've got yourself a lot of money, haven't you? £350. Let's see what you can make out of this. We have 60 seconds on the clock, and the time starts now. Uh, sorts of um, light or things you put in the ground, daffodils. Types of flowers. Um, the, of the part of it that Bulbs. grows. Um, dialogue uh, in the kitchen makes up the tea, boils the water. Things that, things that make uh, uh, the thing on the stove that kettles, makes uh, dialogue. Uh, the whistle that kettle no. makes. Pass. Um, well known, uh, Gilbert and Sullivan. Famous um, operas. Um, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, um, mm. uh, retirement, having a baby, are uh, all. In, uh, um, Congress, um, no, pass. Um, oh, crumbs. He's, um, I can't think of any of them. Uh, he's a famous actor, um, wears a poncho, a and poncho. Uh, uh, oh, smokes a spaghetti cigar. Spaghetti westerns. The person, the name uh, of the Clint person. Clint Eastwood, famous um, actor. Um, Clint Eastwood. Oh, oh, they were trying with, go on, give him a nice round of applause there. Lovely, nice. Right, okay, we have to say goodbye to you. You've now got, what, in total you have got 300, and uh, you've got 400 pounds. It's been marvellous to see you, Jackie. Thanks for being with us. We'll play again in a moment with more contestants on the Pyramid Game. much indeed. Well, of course, the Sean Curley and Rachel Hayhoe Flint are still here with us, but we do have two new contestants for you to meet, and let's meet the first of those. We welcome Ken Walker, who is married and lives, he says, here in Rutland. That doesn't exist anymore, actually, Ken, does it? Um, the Rutland District Council think it does. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, mo it's actually the Leicestershire these days, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is part of Leicestershire. Well, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Tell us what you do for a living, please. Um, I'm a self-employed roofer, but the uh, last eight months I've been renovating a house in Rutland. Um, so it's on the market now, and we're Go back to being a roofer again. Right, okay. Hoping for a few windy days, no doubt, That's as well. Right. Well, it's nice to have you here. Put your hands together, please, for Ken Walker. <laughs> and, of course, Sean Curley has a new partner as well. She is Liz Bradder, uh, married with two sons, of which more in a moment. Where, where are you from, then, Liz? From Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Chesterfield in Derbyshire, nice part of the world. Is that what do you do for a living? I'm a bank nurse. A what? A bank nurse. What does that mean? It means that if the local hospital's short of nurses on any particular department, they phone me up and ask me if I can go in and work. Oh, terrific. And you do? And I do. No, yes. terrific. Well, yes. nice to have you here. And I know you want to say hello to your two offsprings, so yes. very briefly, because yes. we've got to get on with the game here. Hi, James. Hi, Rich. Hello. There we are. Well, it's good <laughs> to have you here. Liz Bradder, ladies and gentlemen. And on with the game we go. Let's see some more famous phrases up here, if we can, please. We've got double up, sent away, not up, faultless, a new leaf, and ready for Jim. So, uh, <laughs> Rachel, it's your choice again. What would you like? We'll be ready for Jim. Ready for Jim, lad. Right, we have things associated with gymnastics. Being a sporting person, you might do quite well here. Your example is vault. Okay, seven more of those in 30 seconds, starting now. Bounce up and down. Trampoline. Trumpet. Correct, trampoline. Um, swing the, the level rings, with one another. Parallel bars. Doing, doing, doing a diver into the pool off a... Springboard. Correct. What you lie down on, what you wipe your feet on. Mat. Um, you climb up them like Rope. a sailor. It's the parallel or the... the what Olga Corbett did her... Uh, asymmetric perfect. bars. Uh, no, right of team. Beam. 
uh, what the what I wear, you know, the the, the all-in-one uh, leopard skin. Oh, I, well, I, I think oh, he did. said that, actually, he but did. very, very quietly. Would we agree with that? <laughs> yes, I think he did. He did say leotard, so we're going to give you the full seven points. Thank you. Thank you. He whispered it, you see. Right then, Sean, what would you like? Um, not off. Please. Okay, not off, you shall have. Not and off. for you here, we have words that might have the word half in front of them. Okay. I'll explain all. Like day, half day. Okay? Several more of those in 30 seconds, starting now. Um, money. Half pence. Paint uh, More. Half penny. Yes. Half. Um, thing King wears on his head. Half crown. Yes. Um, Half Nelson. No. Half um, back. Right. Um, watch. Football half, match. Half time. Um, on a ship. Um, things that hold the sail up. Half mast. Um, first one, you've already said it. Half back. No, you said half it. Spine, no. Half spine, um, <laughs> half. Half <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he, he eventually went like that. It was half Nelson. Pretty good score, though, with five points. <laughs> All right, Ken, what's for you, sir? Delivering Ooh. here. A new leaf, please. A new leaf you shall have. And it's seven types of book. Types of book. Your example is a dictionary, okay? The seven other types of book within oh. this category. We'll put 30 seconds on our clock again. It will start now. A uh, Milton Boone. A thriller, story. cowboy. A love story. A romance. Romantic. Um, Star Wars. A space, space. odyssey. Uh, fiction, science fiction. Uh, Cowboys and Indians, John Wayne. Uh, um, thriller, gun runner. Um, the Wild. West, West, Western stories. Longer. Western, Western. Um, Roger's Thesaurus, Encyclopedia's uh, Dictionary. Uh, reference all, books. Um, books for younger people. Children's kids. books. Uh, nursery rhymes. Um, stories of Play people's stories. lives. Uh, histories. Yeah, given another 10 seconds, they would have got there, I'm quite sure. Uh, but nevertheless, week, they were doing pretty well, and they've now got 12 points. Right then, busy Lizzie, because I know you are. What would you like to uh, choose from here? Faultless, please. <laughs> right, faultless it will be. No lucky seven as yet. Words associated with horse riding. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and, or horse riding events, I should say. And your example is fence. Right. Okay. And your time starts now. They won't do it. They've had a... Four. No, they won't do it. They won't jump over the fence. They've had a... You get three Refusal. points for it. Great. And so they have to go over the... Mm, and over the wet stuff and it's called water a, jump yeah. and they have to you open it to go into a field little word gate and they ha put the thing on there when they've won a prize Rosette. and they, they i'm it i'm not the jockey i'm the rider and what i just won a thing in coaching for uh badminton yeah and it's a gift it's a, what you win Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> say, but it's very very close because that team now has 11 points <laughs> One of the two remaining must be the lucky seven, of course, and we stay with Liz and Sean because they're just one point behind. Uh, you decide which, who's going to describe and who's going to guess, and also another choice to make, which of the two remaining categories? Double up, please. Double up, and so the lucky seven will be over there in a moment. Double up, things to do with the word adding, like okay. calculator. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay, so seven of these. Oh, Sean's very happy, we can see, but 30 seconds on the <laughs> clock, and the time starts now. Um, Whoa. Figures. Um, sums, algebra, it's all uh, rhymes with... Arithmetic. No, no, half. Maths. Um, she works in the till at Type the... Writer. No, at the check supermarket. Out. Another word for checkout. Uh, She's cash on the... Desk. Ca cash register. No. Cash till. Till. Ca till. Sounds like pill. No, yeah. no, no. It's... Um, Thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> These. Fingers. Yeah. And it, it's the addition. It all adds up to the... Total. Yeah. Total just outside the gong, unfortunately, that time. But they have gone into the lead with 14 points. Yeah. Now then, Maestro, let's hear the music, please. <laughs> yes, because this is the lucky seven in centre way. Guess all seven correctly in the 30 seconds, of course. Or indeed, within the 30 seconds, there's a special pyramid prize on offer here, Ken, for you. In centre way, we have things to do with America. And your example is President. Okay, we shall put 30 seconds on the clock. It's an important category, and the time starts now. 
their coinage, their money. Dollars and cents. Dollar. Um, president, the, the new one, new president. Bush. What they chew? Nyom, nyom, Gum, nyom, nyom. Tobacco. Where all the films are made? Hollywood. Correct. Um, they do it my way. The singer, Frank his Sinatra. name. Correct. Uh, George, capital George. Washington. Correct. Um, it goes backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. The faster airplane, the space Shuffle. mission. Correct. Yes, that's it. Uh, Woo! They need no more time. Well, well, well. It is very, very well. <laughs> What can I tell you? Have a look at this then, our Ken. You've got the special pyramid prize, and it is our rather delightful uh, pyramid classic clock. You know, Ooh. fetching shade of black. <laughs> and I'm no sure thanks. you'd love to put that on your mantelpiece at home. Not only that, you have now got yourself 19 points, and you're the winner of the game! Liz, we never learnt about your crash activities, did we? Because eh? you do yeah. have a crash. Eh? Yes, yes, I do. I had a crash in my mini once too. But, uh, <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great shame that we've lost you, but thank you so much for being with us. It's been great. Take thank our you. pyramid trophy with And of course, they, you had a little wave to the folks at home as well. Right. Yes, nice yes, to see thank you. Thank you. Sean, well done, my man. Thank you very Here's much. to the next gold medal, and thanks for being with us today. Thank you. But right now, Rachel and Ken are going to play for pounds. <laughs> Right, okay, well here we are. We're going to get six fabulous phrases up there, and much longer phrases, of course, than you've seen before. Uh, you didn't think you were going to be doing this, did you, actually? Is this the intelligent bit? No, it's, yes, yes, it's the clever people only on here, please. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> and it's got to be phrases. You mustn't use any of the words you see, though, Rachel, and I'm sure you wouldn't uh, think of doing that or even mm. dream of doing it. Uh, you'll be back tomorrow with us anyway, Ken, as you know already, so you've got plenty of time to relax into this. The time in question is 60 seconds. There's 275 pounds to be won in total, and your time starts now. Famous, well known people who put records on the uh, dish pop jockeys. Record, correct. Um, well known, well known. Very famous. Um, career, premier, first battlegrounds, battles. Correct. Um, people, people in. Da, 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 Cast of da, Coronation da, da, Street. Da, da, da. People in Coronation in Street. Coronation Street. Characters. Correct. Um, Places, um, objects in a city, the capital of England is... Things in London. And uh, Nelson's... Column, um, landmarks the in London. Where the Fire of London was. The, the Great S Fire Street. of London was commemorated by the... Pass. Right. <laughs> Don't blame you either. Uh, items... Things. Mend, mend. Things in a sewing box. You take them to the cleaners and they are mended, they are... Repaired. Correct. Things you... Yes, I didn't say that, you did. <laughs> items... Things. That... Oh, uh, very chilly, chilly, chilly. Things that are cold. Correct. Whoa, right on the top. Oh, it's a good job. Yeah, the Come monuments. On, monuments. They, they, yes, it is the monument of the Fire Was of London. It? Yes, I, I think so. The, fire, the actual fire began in Pudding Lane. Anyway, Rachel, lovely to have had you with us today. You did very well there, better than you thought. I, I know. I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> you, you have one, though. Well, that's 75, 175, 225 pounds. You've won it not for yourself, of course. You've won it for Ken. I hope you can join us at the same time tomorrow. Will I you do that? So. I'd love to. Yeah, You'd love you. to be back with us. Well, you see, you might get more money then and special pyramid prizes. As I say, you've got £225. <clears throat> Ken will be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Two more celebrities and more contestants. See you then on the Pyramid Game. Bye-bye now.